What's up, Rick? Just going through your videos here. I uh, was only able to capture uh, three of them, but they're, uh, they're good videos, man. Yeah, you're doing a much better job keeping your knees straight and really kind of using that anterior chain as a springboard. And uh, you got a pretty a pretty solid lockout. I, know, I remember we were dealing with the uh, soft lockout issues, and you fucking own that position. You know, making sure that you're shrugging at the top, driving the head through, and staying nice and tight all the way up. You know, I, I feel like that the soft lockout issue kind of comes when we're doing like multiple reps. But yeah, man, fucking own that position. Uh, this session went really, really well. Super happy with that. Uh, a couple things on your squat I want to kind of go over here. Uh, first is the lengthy walkout. So I just want you to count how many steps you take after you unrack the bar. You take one. Two, three, four, about four steps out. And look how far away from the hooks you are. So you really only need to take one step, one one step backwards, and then kind of take one step back. Here, I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. Um, So I'll show you a video of uh, me squatting if I could find one. Okay. So watch watch how I unrack it. One step back. One step back. That's my business. So you just take one step back, man. You're gonna be that much more efficient at at your squat and you'll be ready to go. The next thing, you know, I talked about the back tightness and the grip position a little bit. And I'm not sure if you made that adjustment or not, but you notice how kind of your elbows are, are moving. So what I want you to focus on next time you squat is pulling the elbows down and back. So like right like here and here, if you could just kind of pull them together down and back I think you'll be able to get your back a little bit tighter and yeah man that's all I really want you to work on dude I think you did a kick-ass job during this session and uh, great job with the notes just kind of want to go over like the C1 and the C2 that just means to superset it I wasn't sure if you picked up on that or not but just wanted to make sure that that's kind of that's what that means, just in case you had any questions about it. Uh, great job with your notes, man. I love it. And let's keep kicking ass, and I'll see you on Wednesday.